Hello, welcome to our first coffee talk. Every Friday, we're going to start doing a coffee talk. It'll be a variety of business development people who you've seen. Um, then we're also going to bring on other people to just have conversation about life. And um, so this is day number one of coffee talk, myself, Megan Gillane, and then we have <laughs> and I'm Bianca Krieger. So we just wanted to introduce ourselves, let you know that, yes, this is our first coffee talk. Um, so, okay, so no sound. The sound says it's working. Guess we'll find that out real quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go on my phone on Facebook. So just so yeah, so we are here talking about literally whatever comes up in the comments section. So just make sure that you add your input. Yes, of course. We definitely want to make sure that you can hear us. Um, <laughs> how is everyone doing today? Happy Friday for everyone that is working. Happy Friday. We know all you essential workers uh, may be having a higher influx than what you have used to being. Uh, and then for the people that aren't working, today is Friday. <laughs> I've forgotten what day it is. Today is Friday for those of us that are working. <laughs> Oh man, another person says it works on my phone for some reason. Bummer. Okay. Well, we apologize for the technical difficulties. Okay, so it may be working now based off comments. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it works on my phone. So hopefully, maybe it's just a delay. I'm hoping it's just a delay. Okay. Coffee. How do you drink your coffee, B? Um, well, I normally drink ice cold brew, but uh, I don't know if you guys have been experienced any roommate issues. <laughs> well, my one of my roommates happened to drink the last of the ice cold brew, so I had to switch to hot coffee today. Let us know if you guys have had, had any <laughs> interactions with not being able to get out and get your normal uh, coffee or teas or smoothies. Do you guys have any normal routine <laughs> that are messed up? Right. So I, I do not normally make coffee and this is probably going to sound like kind of like a hole ish. Um, Bianca normally. So when we had an office where we were making coffee, Bianca would always make it. So I never had to make it, which was awesome. Then we moved into a space where somebody else makes the coffee. And making coffee, like when you stop making it for a while, you're like, oh, I forgot how to make it like really good. So I've been making, attempting to make my own iced coffee. <laughs> it is not as good as those that make it, not at all. So right? we were spoiled. All uh, unlimited coffee I could drink. Now I actually have to go and make it myself. I'm like, oh. Yeah. So, and I drink iced coffee. I do not do hot, or else I'll stay hot all day. So if you, in, your, in the comments, tell us about how you drink, like what you drink in the morning. So I'm actually normally a juicer. I actually juice in the morning and like live off that and then move to coffee if I want to. But because we were doing coffee talk, I wanted to be cliche and bring coffee to the table. Right. I was going to have my iced coffee, but, you know, last minute. I right. to have the caffeine, right? How many, yes. people, how many people have run out of coffee and don't want to get more? Yes. So I want to go over what we are, what we've been going over. I mean, the Facebook lives, we've been going live every day for, I should have counted before we came on. I think it's been a month. It has been. It's Monday just, uh, just about. Yeah. Monday through Friday, about a month. And we've covered a variety of topics, had a variety of speakers on. And so what we are wanting to do is kind of go over some of those topics, bring up some conversations, and then just leave your comments in the comment section. We can see them. So then we'll be able to actually um, see more of what you guys want and make sure we're providing that information. Oh, right. Ooh, vanilla black tea. That sounds great. Mm, not as warm in Idaho. That is, that is true. We are in Florida, so we are always hot <laughs> the last two days. But all right. Um, so Bianca, what has been some of your favorite topics that we've covered on the Facebook live series? So uh, the favorite, um, well, I will have to say, uh, 
since I deal with financial IRAs and the regulars of ins and outs of Mountain West IRA, the productivity and the mindset uh, Facebook Lives happen to be my favorite. Uh, not only does it take you out of your comfort zone sometimes, it really brings you into a space to where you can be comfortable talking about how you're feeling, um, accepting those feelings, being able to handle them, um, harnessing them, being able to use them in a positive manner, being able to go out there and um, basically knock out your day. Whether you're working or not, mindset is extremely important uh, during this time. And I know that it's really benefited me with being able to stay positive, motivated, um, being, I think, uh, segueing into um, something that I know that uh, that's sometimes hard in this time is basically making plans to look forward to. Mm. Um, so I know that me and my roommates um, on the weekend or Fridays, we get, you know, a couple of trulies or, you know, some wine and we play board games or card games. Um, so, I mean, how many people in the comments have played uh, gin rummy? <laughs> I, don't, I don't think anyone I know knows how to play that game. I had somebody actually, I want to talk about one other thing that you brought up that I love. So the, um, being able to be open and communicate, like we have, we've always relied a ton of, uh, on communication within our, with our team and our company. And, um, what I have noticed as being, um, kind of overseeing it, like the amount of communication, um, like has the amount of communication we've had to create within our team has just like grown us stronger and tighter. Like we like, and this is like a fun fact for everyone. Like I had, and this, I don't know if this is an HR problem. Um, we, I had our team do um, the five love languages quiz, which is free. You just go on five love languages, Google it. And there's a quiz. So I knew how every, I know how everybody in my team, how they feel loved. And it's funny because they all feel loved one way and I feel loved a different way, which works out fine because I just we just make it happen. So um, I feel like especially within business development, Bianca, you can put your input on this. Um, this communication and this strong bond is like what our team and our company thrives on. And I love that feeling completely. <laughs> Yes, um, the open communication um, and uh, I think the positive affirmations is definitely one of my love languages. Being acknowledged um, does so much when you get to be treated uh, not just as a, like an employee, but more than more than that as like our Mountain West IRA family. It brings more to the table. It makes you feel more valued. And in my personal opinion, it makes me want to work harder, want to own my work more so than, uh, you, you know, some people just clock in and out. And I just feel that Mountain West IRA and my personal team has done so much more than just teach me how to do a job. It has given me life skills, um, with, especially with communication, with being able to deal with people in all different forms and aspects, especially mm -hmm. being able to handle situations that are not always in the best light and being able to execute them well. Yeah, and that's what I, I like. It just made it very clear to me on our morning call. So we have a morning call every meeting. I mean, every we have a meeting every morning. <laughs> and so um, like it made it very clear to me on the morning call, like how close, like we're, we've already, we've been close to like how it's like really in a tough time, everyone's like pulling together. And I just really like that. But board games, now getting onto board games. Um, <laughs> I feel like I've played an excessive amount of board games. Last night, I did a wine night with Dawn via Zoom. And um, she was telling me how she got super creative with board games because they are like doing strict quarantine. And so she has, um, she had like cereal boxes and she was playing um, Boggle, I think, or something with her family. And so they, she had cereal boxes and then something holding it across and the camera was like dangling from that. So all you can see was like the actual board and they were communicating. And so then that way, like everybody could play. And I was like, people are getting so creative on ways to play board games. No, that's great. I think I, I think I went a little bit old school with the gin rummy. <laughs> I actually had to teach my roommates how to play, but I feel like it's, it's a great way to use critical thinking skills that 
we don't always get to use in a daily life. You know, mm -hmm. uh, we all went to school and we learned, uh, you know, algebra. When do we actually use algebra? But it's great to be able to use those small little like uh, basically like muscles in your brain, critical thinking, being able to um, understand and be able to implement that into everyday life. So just like strategy as well. So I really like that game. Yeah. Um, let us know what games that you guys have been playing or what um, what you've been doing to help you stay sane in this uh, in this debacle that's going on right now. Yes. Please post in the comment section. We see those now. Um, but I do want, oh, we played bingo with the family, with my family through Zoom. Oh, that's fun, bingo. Oh, that's exciting. I've, I've, now I've always been curious on um, all the uh, ladies and gentlemen that don't get to play bingo anymore. I wonder if they have a big bingo hall Zoom call. Hmm, that is a good point. I didn't think about that. You're just like, like I, I don't, I'm sure other people have just thought about this. Like there are things that like you thought that you needed and then like now that they're gone, they're, you're like, ah, I didn't really need that. I see all these years. Like I just liked it. So it's like, I don't, I don't know. I, to me, it's been eye opening. However, I will say 100%, one of my favorite restaurants finally opened for curbside to go pick up and I will be driving to Tampa just for Cuban food. <laughs> what, uh, what restaurant is that? So it was called Hemingway's in Armature Works, but she changed the name to Cuba. Oh, nice. The whole rebrand and we're able to actually, which I love that she used this time as a rebrand because she's always like, go, go, go. And um, so they opened up. And Armor, all, the, all the restaurants in Armature Works are now doing pickup. Pick up. Excellent. I'm super excited. I do, I do want to um, maybe get some to-go food. I don't know about you guys out there, but I've been cooking almost every meal that I've been eating. And it's way to go for anyone that cooks all the meals in every household, because I do not know how people cook every single day. I've definitely been an eye opener on how much luxury uh, that we had in everyday life. I don't know about you, but dishes, you know, I'm like a dish Nazi. So the dishes, I'm like, I literally started this week, like clean the whole house, like was super good. And I was like, I don't care what it is. I don't want to have to load the dishwasher every day because I'm so tired of doing dishes that I got paper plates and everything like is <laughs> throwawayable because I'm like, I just need one week of a break right now. So <laughs> I'm actually jealous of the dishwasher because um, here at my house, um, it is wash by hand, baby. <laughs> every single thing you got to wash by hand. Um, but it, it also is nice because we get to take turns here. Um, I am very fortunate to have roommates uh, that I live with. So not one of us ever gets stuck with the dishes or not one of us ever gets stuck with making all the meals. Um, so that, I feel like that's positive. <laughs> and, and to be quarantined with friends. I mean, that's fun. Yes, I do definitely be um, definitely shelter fortunate place. and blessed to be able to have loved ones and friends being able to spend times with us. Um, I'd have to say another thing that I really like doing, I don't know about you guys, is that I like going outside a little bit more often than I used to. It's a little hot though here in Florida. Uh, let us know what state you guys stay in and if being outside is actually able without a jacket or with a jacket or if you have to wear sunscreen outside, because I know down here we have to wear some sunscreen because I'm getting little spaghetti strap tan lines. <laughs> I actually, so I, I mean, we're, since we're like kind of laying out this, I like to work out a lot. I normally go to the gym every morning, keeps me sane, keeps me focused, all this stuff. So I did not have a gym in my garage up until all this happened. I now have workout space in my garage because I was going crazy. But then I started to get tired of like of body weight exercises. And I actually went out. So I have a soccer. I grew up playing soccer and volleyball. And so I went out and bought soccer, a soccer ball, a volleyball, and some cones. And then I live in a corner, like a corner lot. So the fence is pretty high on the other side. So I'm like, I'll just hit the ball against the fence and annoy everyone bright and early because that is like where I'm at in life because I can't run because my hip is hurt. So. Yeah, it's like do something I can do. 
right? So I've been uh, walking two golden retrievers. <laughs> so right it's definitely a great workout because when you don't want to run, you're still running. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. Um, and it's also nice, really nice to be able to see families out there. Let us know in the comments if you guys have been doing family um, outside activities, whether it's walking, running, um, riding your bike. Um, something that I haven't seen in years is rollerblading. I have seen so oh many people out rollerblading. I have my rollerblades. I've yet to use them, but they that is coming this weekend. I just had to like warm up to the idea of rollerblading again. <laughs> I'm very tempted. I was uh, I was looking online because I wanted to make sure that I bought some uh, rollerblades that were like local or U.S. made. And rollerblades are a little expensive, um, so I was about to buy them, but I'm like, I don't know if I had the right balance. I think I might have to get some wrist guards and a helmet. I'm gonna be that person. I'm definitely gonna be that person <laughs> rocking some wrist guards at the very minimum because with my balance, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> I um. I feel like this is totally an opinion. Like Goodwill is an essential because that's where I got mine from. And they're only $5. But it's like sometimes you find some really good stuff at those places. And because I, I was not looking for rollerblades and found them. And I was like, I need these in my life. I've used them once since I bought them four years ago. But it's worth it for $5. <laughs> right. Um, but um, you want to go over what we've covered this week in the past, the topics, like some of your favorite yeah, of course. Besides mindset, you did say mindset. I love so that. We, we went over mindset. Uh, we also went over, um, well, John Ghislaine went over the differences between um, the market crashing in 2007, 2008, compared to what the market is doing right now here in 2020. Um, then if you saw me yesterday, you know that we talked about some uh, sensitive uh, subject um, regarding inherited accounts and beneficiary accounts. We just want to let you know that, yes, today's coffee talk is very lighthearted and upbeat, um, but we do understand the severity um, going on every day. And this is just something to lighten your day, something to get your mind a little bit distracted than, you know, some of the daunting things um, that are going on, um, including beneficiary accounts. Um, it's just important to be able to know that you're safe and secure, and not only that your future is secure, that your loved ones are as well. Um, and I think, um, what are all the topics that you can invest in with uh, inherited IRAs, right? So just so everyone knows, you can invest in private placement, private stock, you can invest in real estate. Uh, there's so many different types of real estate that you can invest in, whether it's single family homes, commercial, you can use them as rentals. You can flip them. Um, and then, oh, go ahead. No, I'm sorry. I was going to say, which going into it um, next week on Wednesday, John Glenn is coming on to speak about non-recourse loans and why purchasing real estate within your IRA with a non-recourse loan is kind of the way to go right now. And for me, like I'm going through a real estate transaction right now. Huh. I almost wish I started it in my IRA instead of do it outside because it is an investment property, but it's like the restrictions have not tightened up like outside loans have. So we'll be going over that on Wednesday. And that one's very informational. So make sure to bring your questions for non-recourse loans. And what you want to go into what a non-recourse loan is. We're kind of throwing it around without explaining. Yeah, so if you guys don't know what a non-recourse loan is, it is very similar to a regular loan, but the non-recourse loan is where your IRA is the actual buyer opposed to you as a person. Your IRA is um, the one that is going to be purchasing it on everything as well as in that worst case scenario, um, if for whatever reason, let's say you defaulted and the only thing that they can take away from you is that property. Your entire IRA is safe and protected. Um, Which, I'm just like in our 15 years of business, we have had a total of two defaults and both of which sad to say the heirs did not keep up with the property. It was never like the IRA owner who knew about it. It was never their fault. So I think that that's, to, it says a lot within 15, 16 years of business to only have two within. And we have quite a bit of non-recourse loans. What's also great about it is that instead of um, just a tidbit, give you a little sneak peek, is that 
the requirements as well as what they're judging on that loan is much different than a traditional loan. So it's your IRA. So you want to keep in mind that maybe if you don't have the best credit or all the cash right available, you can use your IRA as a form of funding and you can partner as well. Mm -hmm. So I don't want to give too much information on the non recurse loan. I want to let John Ghislaine give you all of the information and how to be able to do that. So if you guys don't know what a non recourse loan is, just let us know in the comments um, or let us know whether you're interested in being able to leverage your IRA funds. Because I don't think a lot of people understand that you can also leverage uh, not only your regular funds, but you can leverage your IRA or your 401k funds to be able to purchase specifically real estate. So we have that next week, non recourse. That's on Wednesday. Um, then we have of course, coffee talk on Friday. And then our topics are, we're waiting to get confirmation from a speaker, but we have topics ranging um, from cryptocurrency within your IRA, um, going into kind of like the ins and outs of IRAs. And then I'm trying to get, fingers crossed, somebody to come speak on um, your message and your voice. And um, either that or we're gonna have business, somebody who's a business consultant on um, who she can talk about how you can grow a business completely off subject from IRAs. So um, we have some potential speakers coming up next week and yeah, make sure to always, we are loving the emails. This is one thing I want to say, everybody who writes us the email. Thank you. Thank you for asking for topics. Thank you for letting us know you're watching. We appreciate those emails so much because sometimes you feel like you're just like throwing a dart at the wall, hoping it sticks when it comes to getting out here every single day. But I really want to appreciate everyone who sent the email. We actually had somebody ask for the non-recourse loans. That's why we were able to get it on the schedule right away. We want to bring you what you want to learn. So the more you communicate with us, the more we can bring that to you. So thank you to everyone. <laughs> yes. And for all you watching that ever, if you ever wanted to collaborate, send us an email and we'll let you know what kind of education that we can both collaborate and give to all of our clients, as well as any of um, people watching. We also, don't have to be educational, just fun fact. Purely educational. educational. Uh, we wanna make sure that we're giving free education uh, to everyone available, because at the end of the day, when it comes to investing, education is key. Mm -hmm. It is, yeah. So um, yeah, I'm really thankful for everything that you guys are, are giving back to us, letting us know you love watching these and you're learning stuff. and. Yeah, so we're happy about that. Okay, so we talked about what's coming up next week. Talked about some fun things we're doing in quarantine. Um, what are some videos? Actually, let me talk about where you can find some of our old videos. Um, so like I said, we've been doing this for a month um, where you have um, five days a week live calls. They're all recorded. They are recorded within the Facebooks. Like, what is that called? The scroll, the page? Two. Yeah, they're in all our Facebook page on Mountain West IRA. So make sure to like that page. And then um, if you want to like search for a specific topic to see if we've covered it, I mean, always, always email us. That's the easiest way. And we'll let you know um, if we've covered it or we will cover it immediately. Um, but then also on our YouTube channel, uh, if you go to Mountain West IRA in YouTube, we have all the recordings from all of our lives added there. So you can get the full recording and all the information on all of the lives. But um, so that that covers past topics. Now, you and I, so we I love also like the mindset and the, the mindset hacks and all that stuff um, within the um, that we've talked about. Now, some of the IRA topics we've talked about, you want to go over some of those? So, oh, the IRA topics. Oh, okay. So the past lives that we've done, we've gone into depth, um, but you know, there's, we can always miss something. So if you do have any questions, let us know. So we've done um, comparisons to what IRA is best for you. So uh, the differences between traditional and Roth IRAs, uh, some of the benefits for having both either or, um, or actually having both at the same time. We've gone over SEP IRAs and individual 401k accounts or IKs um, or solo 401ks. They do have many names. 
Uh, we have gone over being able to do backdoor conversions in Ross. I know that we mentioned that a little bit in our last webinar. So if you guys don't know about being able to contribute to a Roth via a backdoor conversion, just let us know a little bit more about that. Or you can watch yesterday's webinar. It's at the tail end. Um, we've gone over mindset a few different times when we had different speakers. And we've also gone over real estate, whether... Okay. Oh, go ahead. No, we <laughs> don't. <laughs> um, we've gone over real estate with a few different speakers, whether you are investing uh, by wholesaling, whether you are investing in multifamilies, um, as well as being able to invest in real estate via promissory note, with having it being secured. Um, here, if you can see right on here, is that we have a few different videos on our YouTube channel. So these are all of them available to you. So yeah. go on, Megan. I was going to say, so we have like checkbook IRA, multifamily investing, note investing, wholesaling, wholesaling, not in an IRA, just wholesaling, um, how to establish an IRA. Um, yeah, so we have a lot of topics on here. Um, this is what it looks like, though, our page. So you're you know, welcome to go there. You can subscribe. They are um, just to be completely honest and open. They're about a week behind on all the uploadings, but um, that just goes into adding you know, that little screen, the cool screen thing and just pulling all the recordings, but all the information is there. Um, and yeah, so thank you. Thank you. Like, really, thank you. There are some times where you like feel like marketing is like you have no idea, but you guys let us know that it pays off and we thank you so much. Yes, we appreciate everyone for commenting as well. Uh, Bari, thanks so much for letting us know that you could hear us as well. Um, if you ever are watching and you see anything uh, that you notice or you want to talk about or anything like that, feel free to let us know. Um, even if you're just watching and saying, say hi, let us yeah. know that you're watching. Let us know whether you like the content, like and share. Um, if you ever want to be notified ahead of time for any of our future lives, make sure you ring the bell and you'll get an automatic notification of when we're going live. And for whatever reason, if you can't happen to make our lives, you can always go back and watch the recorded versions on multiple different platforms like Megan mentioned on YouTube or on our Facebook live area. And then also, yes, Diana mentioned, yes, we are going over cryptocurrency next week. Um, so we all heard about big cryptocurrency, what, about two years ago, and it's still live. So if you guys are wanting to know about how to invest in cryptocurrency, make sure you put a comment or tune in next week. Yes, and every Friday is coffee day where we kind of just do this, where we talk. So make sure to always bring your questions, um, what's going on in your life. Like our goal is to really like have a conversation here. So you want to make sure to add stuff. So we will see you um, next week throughout the week. But then again on Friday for coffee talk to go over everything. So make sure to bring your drink. Yes, I'm very excited for coffee talk. And um, also, I wanted to mention, um, maybe not next week, but in future uh, lives, we may have some of our other employees at Mountain West IRA come on and let you guys know a little bit more about us. So hopefully, cross your fingers, yeah, uh, that you'll be able to meet a little bit more of our staff. We're waiting for our, our whole staff to get cameras. So this is a big deal. <laughs> cameras <laughs> back ordered because everyone had to go quarantine. So we're waiting for everyone to get cameras and hopefully they can start joining us. <laughs> it sounds great. I'm so excited. And uh, I will say I am a little excited for the weekend too. <laughs> same, same, same. All right. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing weekend. We will see you next Monday. Happy Friday. Bye. <laughs>